huge honor and uh, something that you know I've, I've always imagined. And when you actually sit in the Oval Office and you imagine the kinds of calls that are going to be made and people and the issues that we're talking about, it was very sobering and it was, uh, it was a blessing, frankly. Well, in a sense, what I remember Roberto Benavid telling me is that when people from Washington see it, they go, you know, as crazy as it is, it's a little bit like that in real life. The reality is so bizarre sometimes that it would make a great comedy, a uh, satire. I mean, I've been a fan of Tim Robbins for many, many years. And the fact that I get to work with him, the only downside is that he's so much taller than me. I mean, the guy's a giant. He's like six foot four or five. And I feel, you know, I remember who's the boss, everybody. I mean, I've been a fan of Tim Robbins for many, many years. And the fact that I get to work with him, the only downside is that he's so much taller than me. I mean, the guy's a giant. He's like six foot four or five. And I feel, you know, I remember who's the boss, everybody. Yeah, he's very tall. No, he's very tall, but he's also extremely funny and personable. And he's a real human being. His, his, his work, his, act, his activism has not uh, gone lost with him. I'm a fellow actor, activist. And I care about the human condition, and I respect him and his previous uh, advocacy on many issues. So, and I like working with people that have similar uh, spiritual taste.